Have you ever seen one of these structures in the middle of a hay field? This is called a hay crib, and they were much more common for hay storage before the advent of tractors and balers. Cutting and storing hay is essential in Wyoming's cold climate, where the stored hay is fed to animals in the winter. Grass is cut and cured so it does not mold or catch fire. Proper hay storage has always been a feat, and there have been many contraptions to help accomplish this task. Originally, hay was cut by equipment pulled by horses. The loose hay was forked onto wagons and then hand pitched into the hay cribs. Contraptions like beaver slides were invented to help move the hay and stack it into the crib. Modern technology has changed the look of hay storage. The first hay baler was produced from 1947 to 1960 by Alice Chalmers and was called the roto baler, but it essentially produced lumps of hay tied with twine. In 1972, Vermeer Company began selling the first modern round baler that compacted hay into bales that we still see today. Loose stacks are much less common and have been replaced by large stacks of hay bales. So next time you see one of these relics of the past, you'll be reminded of Wyoming's agricultural history and the many changes we've seen along the way. From the University of Wyoming Extension, I'm Mae Smith, exploring the nature of Wyoming.